Marsden. And I'm Debbie Cobb. The city of Chico presents its official budget for the next year, and its new city manager says it is the most important document that will be presented all year. But as Action News Now reporter Brian Johnson explains, the city still has a long way to go before becoming financially solvent. He joins us now live from Chico City Council Chambers, or just outside the chambers. Brian? Alan Debbie, that's exactly right. In previewing the 2014-2015 budget, Chico's interim city manager, Mark Orm, says, hey, we're not ready to celebrate yet, but what he did address to the council, he told them, hey, let me, allow me to move this organization forward. Now, Orm says this budget is not a one-time fix, but not everything was broken, he says, saying this new budget will create a path to a successful and blessed future for Chico. Now, Administrative Services Director Chris Constancy Constantine said while last year's budget was one of significant changes, he said this year is one of adjustments. Constantine says it will now take seven years to address the city's multi-million dollar deficit, and in 15 years, the city will have brought back the general fund to its target levels. Now, but today's tone, overall, it was optimistic. Orm spoke on that X factor he sees in Chico. That's a passion for this community he hasn't seen anywhere else. We've been through a lot of bumps and bruises, and uh, it's been difficult. Uh, this community hasn't had to face that in years past. However, I think that this is an opportunity for us to turn the chapter and start this new page of moving forward and bringing the city to the pinnacle that it knows that it is and knows that it will be once again. Now, after a year of severe cuts, it looks like the city will have a more than 2% increase in staffing levels for this next fiscal year. Coming up at 5.30, I speak with Chico's police chief, Kirk Trostel, about how many police officers he'll be adding and what that means for his department. Reporting live in downtown Chico for Action News Now, I'm Brian Johnson. Thank you, Brian, for that 